Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, Steve and I, we're back up uh, Merawai. What we're going to be doing today is setting the kontiki. Chucked in the um, surf caster as well. Don't probably um, don't expect too much on the surf caster, but it's always um, quite cool fun to have a flick with the surf caster while you're waiting for um, the kontiki to have a soak. But uh, we're just coming into July now, so sort of around that um, winter time. We're hoping the fish will be in, the bigger fish. And um, just like the east coast, we're hoping the smaller fish have moved out into the deeper water and the bigger ones are coming in to have a bit of a scrounge around the um, around the waves and um, on the shoreline there for some puppies and stuff. So hopefully we get into a few fish on the Kontiki today and hopefully you guys enjoy. So being up Mirawai, uh, for the uh, Arvo, we thought we'd um, drive all the way up and have a look at this shipwreck. They basically built that boat in the late 1800s, up in Mangawai, I think it was. And um, they brought it over to a guy that I think lived in the Kuiper, and they used to just run it up and down the coast. Um, obviously moving stuff amongst the harbours. So we'll go over and we'll have a squiz. See the wood. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And as I was saying, basically it was built, I think, um, something like 1880, 87 or something. What's crazy is um, the amount of times I've been up, coming up Mirawai, probably driven over the top of that. And you can see how much it's dropped away from the banking here. So that would just come down gradually. You can see along the beach there, a big slant. So yeah, it's quite cool. We're pretty much up near the end. We'll have a shot here, and then what we might do is, um, if we don't do well, head back further, back from where we came. But, um, yeah, we'll just grab the um, Kontiki out and give it a bash. Well, what I'm going to do is um, start carving up the bait. Or a bit of a selection this time got a bit of squid got some salted um, mullet there now we tried the salted mullet last time um, when we were at Parkery and we actually didn't even get a bite so we were a little bit worried about that so steve is just chucking in the uh, batteries here on the torpedo That is one great thing about um, salted bait. We bought this um, about a month ago. 
and um, as you can see it's still easily um, used a month later and of course it stays on your uh, your hook if you actually use um, the squid when it's frozen it comes off real easy it's actually better when it's thawed it'll stay on your uh, your hook a lot longer so um, it's quite good to actually get your baits ready the night before cut it all up put it in an ice cream container it's quite a nice day today up here on the west coast the swell is about 1.5 to 1.7 so we should be okay setting it but um, yeah beautiful day so we're just baiting up now got a bit of squid there managed to get that defrosted a bit got 25 hooks which is the limit so last time when we were up here we actually stayed the night and um, did one set on the uh, Saturday and one set on the Sunday morning and did quite well there was a lot of workups going on um, and that's when the uh, dead Max we sort of lined up along the beach and we caught some nice fish on the surfcaster too. So Steve is just hooking up the um, torpedo now for our first set. It's probably about half past three. Tide's still dropping. And it's quite cool fun to actually um, do this with your family. And I've said it before in some of my uh, videos, but it's actually quite good um, a good time on the beach with your family setting one of these and you also flick out a uh, surf cast with the kids you know, catch a few kawai even and uh, there's nothing wrong with catching kawai with kids, they uh, love it There you go, that's our uh, first set. We'll just let that run until uh, obviously the battery runs out. So the bank's starting to um, show itself out here. And here's a hole right here, right in front of me. And that's where you want to be fishing on the high tide, way up there. You want to mark it. Off the um, sand dune there, tie something on the tree or whatever. And you know there's a hole right here. And as you walk along here and look up there, you can see that bank is starting, that's out of the water. And that's already 100 meters out. And here's the whole bank over there. Other side of the bank is another hole. See the hole there? That's a really good hole to fish on the high tide. It's a real nice hole, that one. <clears throat> and what you'll find on that tide coming in, high tide fish will come over that bank. It'll probably be five to anywhere five to ten feet deep and then come into these holes. And they'll feed in these holes, especially at night. But um this is what I love, is to see that bank there, it's out of the water. There's water right here, and then it's dry over there, more water over there. So there's your bank, that's where you want to walk to. And then on that lip of that bank, you've got the breakers, and then it'll go down into a channel, and then it's breaking about 100 meters further out. There's a channel, a real nice channel running up and down perfect for surf casting into 
it was too much for me to see it and not go have a shot so I've put the surf caster together and I'm gonna head out and have a flick Stevo's way back there see how far I've had to walk over to the bank if I was casting out in front of me that bank is down further down there that's all I'll be casting onto it's probably about half a foot deep so I'm using a uh, running rig there and because I'm using braid I've got two traces so there's my first trace that will have my running sinker and then my trace down to my hooks and bait so that's how I like to fish it out here on the west um, if you go running rig just when you use braid I see way back there there's the water way in there water's way in there and I've come out onto this bank this is where you want to be now normally I'd walk right out to see where it's just breaking 50 meters in front of me that's the lip I'd normally walk out to there and cast but um, I've got my gum boots and sockies on so it's gonna be a long cast from here I'll still make it into that channel I'll follow this water running out cast and then I'll run back in before this surge comes in that's only just made it I'm not sure if I'll you know I'm not expecting too much um, surf casting and it's right on that lip but the thing that's going for me is the time of day and the spot that I'm fishing we've caught some nice fish here probably up to about five pound five six pound and we've had some real stonkers come through I do like to fish it when it's a smaller swell you want it at about a meter is real nice and even under a meter is really really nice to fish you can stand there for a couple of hours on that lip but um, hey you got to have a line in the water to catch a fish so that's why I've decided to come up and have a go I'm just hoping these waves don't come up over my gummies so I've just had a couple of bites felt like snapper bites but the downfall is as I had a sh had to strike at it and the uh, breakaway sink is probably breaking it broken away and it's not sitting nicely but yep oh there you go another nice nice bite there geez that feels like snapper yeah, it was definitely um, worth coming out here and having a shot had a uh, few bites there and they did feel like snapper the only bummer is um, the breakaways come away and the sink is now being pulled into into shore and water going in my gummies but hey when the fish are biting it's just what you need to do now when you're fishing Mirawai for all the wave action a lot of times you feel like you're getting bites they're not bites it's, all it is is the drag and the waves your, your line's getting dragged along the wave and then it gets free and flings back and all sorts so you've really got to learn the touch of a bite to that drag and the waves hitting your line now 
if you look at my um, rod all it is is it's bending and then it'll flick up and bend and flick up and it feels like bites and a lot of times people will be striking it though you really got to try and ignore all that and just wait for that bite you'll know the bite you'll get to learn the bite it's more of a real hard pull on your finger I can feel the little taps on my finger here but it's not a bite pull or, or a little bite or anything like that so I know not to strike as soon as I strike that breakaway sinker gives way and then my bait's going to end up over here on the shore again so you've got to make sure that you're striking at a bite none of these little sort of taps and wave hitting your line and dragging and stuff like that Isn't that an awesome sight? Sun going down on the west coast. Got a line in the water. Got the Kontiki out. And to be honest, even if we didn't catch anything, how great is this? Just being here. That's what I love about the west coast. Even if you catch nothing, it's still awesome to be out here. Taste of uh, New Zealand, West Coast, Auckland. Beautiful. Steve is bringing in the uh, Kontiki now, so we'll head back up. So I missed a few fish there on that uh, first bait. And um, I, I didn't even really think I'd get a chance of uh, flicking a line out on the surf car so it's a bummer that I missed that fish felt like snapper but um, I pretty much did it just for a few um, tips for you guys just where to fish or where I like to fish what I look for and the rig that I use so hopefully um, that helps a few of you guys but um, hey like I was saying even though I didn't catch anything, still awesome having a bait out. Sun's going down. Beautiful sunset. Always great out on the west coast. So our first fish is a gurnard, which isn't a bad thing. Another gurnard. So got another big gurnard there. What I think's happened is um, it had a real strong side current going on. A big sort of side drag. And it's dragged the um, line right around in a big horseshoe. And these hooks haven't gone out that far. So got another gurnard there. Maybe another four gurnard. Snapper. So it looks like we've got a decent snapper there. Nothing huge, but Keepy. There you go. Uh, not a lot, but a uh, three big gurnard snapper in a car is better than nothing. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.